good how y'all doing today so today's video is going to be really short sweet and to the point uh, it's basically about how a three ring binder that's probably only like a dollar two dollars at walmart can save you a ton of headaches at a scale house or let's just say you got pulled over you may be a little fresh so I know in your regular everyday car, the only thing that you typically really need to have is your license, your registration, proof of insurance, depending on what state you're in. Well, when you get into a commercial aspect, you get a little bit more. So if you watched my last video, I'll walk through and show you and explain to you everything that I did to get to a point where I could start hauling. So. You're gonna take some of those documents, or in my case, I took pretty much all of them, and I put them in a three ring binder. So you're probably asking, well, I mean, what good is that gonna do? So this is what good is gonna do. So either way, if you get pulled over, or if you get pulled into the scale house for an inspection, they're gonna ask for some paperwork. They're gonna ask for your license, your registration, your proof of insurance. They're gonna to wanna to see a medical card, which you have to do if you have a CDL and I also believe if you're, you're running hot shot, any, any type of commercial aspect. And the other couple of things that they're gonna to wanna to see more than likely is they're gonna to wanna to see your ELD paperwork, or not paperwork, but your ELD device, which basically you have to send the data from your ELD to them, okay? Now, a little side note, if you don't have the instructions on how to do that on you, that can be a violation. As crazy as it sounds, it can be a violation. So keep in mind, you gotta have that. But that's also why having this binder is gonna save you a ton of headache because they're gonna come up to the window and they're gonna ask for all of that. Now, this can go one of two ways. You can fumble around looking in your glove box and in your center console, trying to find all of this stuff and, and hoping and praying that, that you got it. Or you can take a couple minutes and put one of these binders together. And all you really have to do is, wherever you have it located in the truck, pick up that whole binder and just say, here you go officer, here's everything you're gonna need. Now, why is that beneficial? Well, one, you don't have to search for it, it's all there. Two, here's the other, here's the big thing. If you hand them that binder, it's gonna make you look professional. And at the end of the day, you want to get out of here as quick as possible. You want, you want to get this done, get on the road, and get moving. Okay? Well, if you just hand them the binder, you're not hunting for nothing. And, and the name of the game here is, as a hot shot operator, they give us a hard time. And to be honest, a lot of that is our own fault because we don't come about things as professional as we need to. So having this and just handing it over is good golden might even save you from getting a ticket because he's probably more than likely going to look at this binder and go dang i didn't even know he was going to have it set up like this and here you are sitting golden because you just handed him everything you needed so the binder is pretty simple i mean i'm, I'm gonna just kind of run through what all i got and like i said it's more than what's required but as me being an owner operator if i'm away from home and I need something, I just keep it in here because I can go right to it and pull it out. So the first thing I have is my vehicle registration. Now I have vehicle registration for both the truck and the trailer, gonna need that. Now here in Virginia, we have a Virginia safety inspection. So I have my Virginia safety inspection on both truck and trailer. Then I have commercial inspection on both truck and trailer. Then I have 
the actual sticker in the binder for both truck and trailer. I have my insurance that basically states breakdown on everything. Moving on from there. The next thing I have in here is my medical card. Gotta have it. I also have the receipt that shows when I applied it to DMV. So it shows when it went effective and when it expires. Now, moving on to things that you may not need, but I like to have, you know, just doesn't hurt. I have updated copy of my UCR. We talked about that. I have an updated copy of my BOC3. Talked about that too. Next, I have my Keep Trucking ELD instructions and order confirmation certificate. Like I said, if you don't have it, that can be a violation. I have my, my IRS with my EIN number. I have my SEC, which we talked about that too. Now, State Corporation Commission. I've got all the paperwork right here that says I'm good. All right, then I have my, my county permit. Basically says I'm licensed to operate in the county. And then I have my letter from the Department of Transportation, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, that is my certificate to operate, has my MC number on it. And I basically, I keep all of that. Now, I recently, I was in North Carolina and got pulled in for an inspection. I passed that inspection. Everything went smooth, quick, in and out, 20 minutes. Now I held on to that, so I have a copy of that in here as well. So that's everything I keep in this binder. So like I told you, sweet, short to the point, short video. I hope this helps you. Please like, subscribe, hit the ding ding. I'm going to be posting another video here soon. So y'all stay tuned. Take care. God bless.